Hey guys, today I want to talk about how being at a healthy body weight actually improved my technique in jiu-jitsu. So a year ago, my body weight was at 238. Okay? Even though most of it was pretty good weight, I was actually under 15% body fat, it still kind of acted as an impediment. Uh, that's, that's a lot of weight, uh, even though I was carrying quite a bit of muscle, and it's not the same as being obese, it really still made my heart work quite a bit. And, you know, that it's getting all that oxygenated blood to those muscles uh, really forced my heart to work very hard. So, like a, like a lot of schools, uh, the, the way it's set up, set up to my jiu-jitsu school, it's, you know, we go in, we warm up, uh, we learn to move, we drill. And after drilling, we roll for at least the last half hour class, but I'm sure we'll at least we'll probably get in uh, four six-minute rolls against an opponent. So because of my excess weight, I really I was only able to do three out of those four rolls every night. Uh, typically after the first two, I, that the third roll I can never make. I was dying just just then had to sit it out and then come back for the fourth and final six-minute roll of the night. And actually, during any of those six-minute rolls. Really, I was only good for the first four minutes. Those last two minutes, I pretty much just got my ass handed to me. Um, just I was just pretty much in survival mode. And uh, just really getting my ass kicked. That's when I was getting tapped a, a, just a ton. And it wasn't like my opponent was equally as tired because I was getting tapped way more in the last two minutes of a roll than I was making anyone submit. You know, it's a common thing to say in jiu-jitsu that, you know, that uh, technique triumphs, triumphs over everything. You know, it completely agree. It totally does. I mean, no one can ever walk into jiu-jitsu jiu school ever and uh, do well just on athleticism. They will get their fucking ass handed to them. But, I mean, every sport's like that and to a certain degree. I mean, no one's ever lifted enough weights to get themselves to the NBA, for instance. Uh, you still have to, you know, put your time in on the court. But... To get that time in and practice and work on your technique, it's, it's imperative to get as many rolls as possible. So what I do, I lost weight and I dropped from 238 down to my present weight of 216. And uh, this, <laughs> this actually wasn't easy at all for me uh, mentally um, in the, my past. I was a football player, and after that, I was a, a bodybuilder. So, I definitely, to a great degree, suffered from what's known as bigorexia, and that's probably something I should cover in another video at some point. But you know, hold off on on bigorexia now. But uh, I'm, bottom line is, I'm comfortable in my shoes now, weighing at 216 as opposed to being whatever with near near 240. So let's take a look at some numbers at, that I put together from what how I, I trained in the past, and I'm going to compare it to how I train today. So this is when my body weight was 238 pounds. Okay, let's assume I train 50 weeks per year, and I like to go on vacation at least a couple of weeks. So in those 50 weeks, I train three days per week. So this equates to 150 days of training per year. And as I mentioned before, I'm really, I was back then, I was only able to get in three out of the four six minute rolls that we did at, and, uh, at, this, at per training session. So what does this equate to? This equals 450 rolls per year, or a total of 2,700 minutes of rolling minutes per year. Let's look at the numbers today. Currently my body's at 216 pounds. Some of this has not changed a bit. I still work out, I, I try to, you know, obviously things like injuries could come up, so I don't want to jinx myself, but so let's say 50 weeks per year, uh, still three days, it equates to 150 days per year. This is where things change though. Instead of only being able to do three four-minute rolls, 
because I'm at a better weight for jujitsu, I'm now able to get in four six minute rolls per night. And I feel good the whole four, uh, the whole six minutes, by the way. One thing I should mention that, uh, that I can even, you know, I even tap people now in the last two minutes instead of just hanging on for dear life, you know, not trying to get submitted. So that's another important aspect. Anyways, so now though, let's see, I, I now do this, this, this equates to 600 rolls per year. Okay. And oops, I forgot a zero. That is 3,600 total rolling minutes per year. This is an, in, oh, it's an increase from, the, from my body weight from 238 to 216 in a, in, a, in a year's time frame of 150 more rolls per year and 900 minutes of rolling. I mean, what a difference it's made, okay? It's you know, obviously the results. Guess what? I suck less at jujitsu. That's a huge thing, right? And you know, I, I, I gain my technique much quicker now, big time. Okay, um, it, it's improved. So, and I feel much better. Okay, I don't feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack um, after <laughs> with with two minutes left per roll. So this is what I mean by a healthy body weight. It, it can help improve your technique. That's it, guys. Man, appreciate you watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Oh.